Hi guys, what is up? It's Zoe here. So today's video is going to be about here. Looking back at all my past conditions and shampoos and things I've bought. Hope you guys enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let's get on with the video. And one major problem I have had with my hair is the thickness and frizziness. If you don't know, my hair is naturally thick and it has curls in it generally. That my hair is naturally coloured. That's how my hair is. I had not dyed it, I bleached it, I had not done anything. Shop and um, hair type product shop and got some goodies. So thank you to my grandparents for buying these for me. Okay, so I was kind of needing new shampoo and conditioner and I try out new things all the time. I just use the products that probably aren't the best for your hair, but I just use the products because I think that as long as you're drinking the water and having a good diet, your hair is going to be fine. Pantene, and that's what we used to use. Then I switched to Head & Shoulders. We love Head & Shoulders. It's a really good brand, Head & Shoulders. Thumbs up to you guys. Um, I really would recommend trying Head & Shoulders if you have dandruff and things. If you don't have dandruff, they're still really good products, so I really do recommend them. Then I switched to L'Oreal Paris Smooth Intense Anti-Frizz Conditioner because I had frizzy hair. It didn't really work for the frizziness, frizziness point. I still really like this brand, um, but yeah, I think this is still a really good product, but just not for my personal. Then I went to, to this um, Macassian... Macarition, I don't know how you say that, but oil and coconut conditioner with argan oil from Makoko, Makona, Makona. Um, so I originally got this one, and that's the brand. Don't know how to say that, so I'm not going to even try. By the way, I'd like to be sponsored for all these shampoos and conditioners and things I'm recommending to you guys, but yeah, whether that happens or not is another story. Um, but yeah, so this is basically the product. Um, I thought this was really amazing and it did the job. So did this one and so did this one here. But um, they just kind of went 100% mahi type. And I went to, this is the brand here. And I absolutely loved this brand. I think their products are amazing. But these uh, can range to $30 to $40. It depends on what where you get them from and things. But... I was using the renewing one, this product, a lot. So I got this Hair Master tryout. So this is the same brand. Um, it smells super good. I have not used it, but it does say that it's a ultimate repair anti damage mask. I absolutely am really excited to try this one out. I did really like the L'Oreal Paris brand. So I did get this spray from them conditioning shine spray tangle and style um so this is kind of like a style detangle spray and i do really like this it smells amazing but then i wanted to try the vo5 brand so i tried it and this is the anti frizz cream then i loved the l'oreal one so much because that was like one of the ones that impressed me a lot um i got that those two I decided to get this now my nana actually picked this out for me but this is the oil now I got two bottles of this this is super expensive I think this is around 40 to 50 dollars I don't know exactly but I do know it is kind of pricey so I have showed you guys all the products so the one I was super excited was the um, Eson brand I when I found it in store today that they had a shampoo and conditioner. I was so intrigued and I wanted to buy it so badly. So excited to find these. So these um, are the nourishing types. They have a bunch of other ones like um, they have the softening one. But this is the, it's got Mokona in it, argan oil, macadamia and pomegranate oils, aloe vera and plant Pretense. I'm super excited to try these out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a video where I just showed you the products from the past. Get a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And yeah, if you guys want another video on me kind of doing like a would I recommend these or would I not, leave it in the down bar. If you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!